well, administration working for you guys. <laughs> I stand back there with Ralph McMullen, I said, you know, we're kind of getting tired of the announcement thing. You know, we're hoping that the Buell administration doesn't go as heavy on announcements as the uh, as the McMullen administration. And, and, and then it's like, well, we get this speech. It's like, holy moly. I mean, here's the rule. When the sun's off of those peaks, thank you, by the way, for, for, your, uh, for your hospitality, Floyd and Karen, but they said the rule in this backyard is when the sun's off of those peaks, motion to adjourn. <laughs> Good idea. So, what are your questions? <laughs> no, I'll, I'll hurry quick, though, because uh, Heidi Smith's back there saying it's getting cold. And I recall last year when you guys did this, we were at, we were at somebody's house down on, uh, on Lakeshore. And uh, I, I will say this, Dave, it was not quite dark when Ralph finally let me get up here as a state party chair. So, <laughs> Although... although uh, uh, Ralph says, well, you know, Mark, the darker it gets, the better you look, so I thought I was helping. <laughs> Always nice to have a warm Washoe County welcome. Listen, I want to start out by this. First of all, thank you, Floyd and Karen. Great job. Uh, nice venue. Uh, another great incline trying something. Nice to see Sharon Angle again. Congratulations on the book. It's going good. Where's Ted? I saw him here a minute ago. Maybe he's where I went lately, but it's nice to see you. Thank you very much for coming. Good to see you still. Um, and, and then I want to kind of say this. Uh, I spoke with the Clark County uh, uh, Central Committee night before last, I guess it was. It all kind of runs together when you're drinking from this fire hose. And I said, listen, what I want to tell you folks, first and foremost, I want you to go back to June 18th for a minute, and I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for what you did as a Central Committee. In that process, you did your homework. You made up your mind. You did what you thought was appropriate. We came together as Republicans in Sparks. Everybody voted their, voted their conscience, did whatever they thought was right. When we left there, we were together. I want to say this. Thank you, Washoe County, for your willingness to take a good hard look at a left-handed guy from Carson City on June 18th and come together after we all had our shot to do that stuff and get behind a Republican candidate. And I, want to go on, I, I want to go on something that Greg Baylor said and, and also some of the other folks uh, that have been talking for what seems like forever already. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap up. Um, but I want to get back to something else. This is about taking the Truckee Meadows and as a predicate to what's going on in 2012, it's not about Mark Amity personally, it's about the Republican brand and the Truckee Meadows in 2012 and sending out a message in September. And actually, folks, it's six weeks until early voting starts. and and. We need to be relaxed about this, but the mission is the mission is the objective. And the reality of it is this. Over half the people vote early and absentee. Those of you that, and, and this area is very deep in precincts and grassroots, partially because of these folks right here, and it's like those folks are going to vote, and Republicans have tended to struggle with that segment of the vote. Six weeks before that starts. So, it's about getting those folks, turning our people out turning our people out so that the Truckee Meadows can once again be a Republican stronghold and lay that predicate down for those legislative elections that are coming up in 2012, for the congressional election that's coming up in 2012, for Dean Heller's run that's coming up in 2012, and the Republican nominee for president in 2012. So those days of taking over those Truckee Meadows neighborhoods with the folks with the iPads that come from out of state, um, and, and sit there and, and identify their folks, we've got to turn our folks out. I can tell you this. We, are, we have built an organization which has no silos. We have the Republican National Committee working with the Republican Congressional Committee, working with the Washoe County Republican Party, working with the State Republican Party, working with the Amade campaign. One of the things even a guy like me can learn after being the State Party Chair is silos are no good. You have to have one organization that it's a, that's about raising the tide for everyone. And I want to thank you folks that are here, my volunteers, as well as, as the other folks that are like, listen, this is a team effort, politics is a team sport, and if you play it that way, then we'll have good things happen on September 13th and also starting on August 27th. So I'm, I, I'll just tell you this real quick, a little bit of the policy stuff because I want to make Megan's trip fruitful so they don't just hear the rah-rah stuff when they upload that, and that is this. If anybody thinks, when you talk about Medicare, Medicaid, the debt, the budget, 
I'll just give you, when, when, it, when all the smoke gets there, I'll give you four things to remember. One is, when your debt reaches the level of your gross domestic product, you're probably doing something that's more than a little wrong. <laughs> when your budget borrows 40 cents of every dollar to spend that then goes into that debt, you're probably doing something that's more than a little wrong. When you talk about Medicare and, uh, and Medicaid and you talk about Social Security and old folks and you say, listen, we're going to fix the system so that it exists for people beyond a few years, and you hear all this stuff about people in wheelchairs going down steps and stuff like that, <clears throat> let me point out a fact to you that happened a week ago. You can draw your own conclusions. But when Barack Obama sits there in a news interview and says, if we, we issue about 70 million checks as the federal government, and if you guys don't give me $2 trillion more in credit, I'm not sure we're going to issue those Social Security checks or whatever. Note to self. You're either lying about the fact, you and Harry Reid, about Social Security is good for the next 20 years. Well, if it's good for the next 20 years, why aren't you taking the money out of that account? You're either not telling us the truth about that, or you're not telling us the truth that basically you're relying on the cash flow every month to pay Social Security. Either way, it's not telling the truth. So let's talk about telling people the truth, being responsible about the money stuff, because guess what? We're not growing the economy in Nevada, we're not creating jobs in Nevada, and we're not putting people back to work in a diversified sense until we start telling the truth, quit spending money you don't have, and quit asking for new credit cards, which basically will be maxed out the minute that you issue them. Thank you very much. I'm gratified by the, by the support we've gotten. We got six more weeks strong to go till early voting, two more weeks after that, and then guess what? Things go good September 13th, September 14th, we wind it all up again if they go well, and we're going into 2012. Mm -hmm. So it's a team sport. Thanks for letting me be part of the team. It's a great event. Thank you.